Hi, it's Marianne of MW's Designs. Today I want to show you how I make my tags using watercolor paper and paints and at the end I'll add my star embellishments that I made in my previous video. These are some of the tags that I made um, during the holiday season and some of them are finished and some of them are still in progress. I make these by using templates cut out of cardboard. Um, I don't use a punch, but I like to trace around these templates and I can make um, different kinds. They're, some are larger and this is an in-between one and then I've got some small ones. So I'm going to set this aside. I have some newsprint so that I can contain my painting mess. I'm using 140 pound watercolor paper. That seems to be a good weight up for these tags. So I just trace around my template. And I can make them as long as I want. I mainly just need the template for the shape at the top and I just pull it down to whatever length I want my tag to be. So there's one and I have a hole punched in the template so that I can mark where I want to punch the hole in my tag. Then I'm going to use this next tag right beside my first one and I don't necessarily do it perfectly I think even if I get it fairly cl close it's going to look good anyway so there's my two larger ones I'm not going to do the medium size one because I just have room for the small one here. Yeah, and it's even a little skinny, but that's okay. So just trace one in a circle and the second one. Then I'm going to cut them out. And when you're cutting a longer straight line. It's good to have a long bladed pair of scissors. Then you um, get a pretty straight cut. And if you're cutting around curves, it's a good idea to move whatever it is that you're holding instead of the scissors and you will get a more accurate cut that way makes it a little easier. Okay. So there's one. And we'll do the straight one. And the two little ones. Just even up my Two corners a bit. Okay, and I didn't put the the circle indicator there, but that's okay too. Now I'm going to use this contraption here. It's a Crocodile 2 and it's it has a long arm so that you can reach inside bigger pieces of paper and still be able to punch your hole. It has two sizes of holes. The larger one is 3 16 and the smaller one is 1 8 or you could use a handheld punch, and I think a lot of them are um, a quarter of an inch, but sometimes you can get a little bit smaller one. This crocodile also does 
brads, but I'm not using um, that feature on it today. So I'm going to punch out my holes before I start painting. And I'm on the, the larger one. And you can see when it comes down, I know right where to punch because I can see my circle drawing. I can get it to stay still. And then my next one. And the two little ones. I could use the smaller punch on, on this one, but I'm just going to use the same one. Okay, and I'll use this one to measure where to put my other hole. Okay, so we've got those punched out. Now we're going to start painting. And I'm going to use blue. I like blue for January. I like blue in general, but I just think it, it's a good color for January. And I like to spray the paper first. You wouldn't have to, but that's just how I like to do it. I'm turning them over so I don't see the pencil marks. You could erase those first if you wanted to. Okay. And I try to have somewhat of a darker color just so that when I'm using any white embellishments, I can it shows up better. So I will do, let's see, I'm going to do one of the small ones blue. And when I'm painting these, um, I like to get the edges done at the same time, and that saves going back and inking on the edges. I'll do this one too. Okay, now I'm going to switch to some purpley colors, and I don't even bother rinsing my brush off because the blue and the purple will make a nice blend of colors. So there's my purple. Go around the edges. A little more paint. And the small one will be purple. Okay. I think those are good and then when they're dry I turn them over and paint the other side but I'm not going to do that now I'm just going to set them aside to dry on their own and I'm going to turn my paper over so that I have a dry place to set my um, tags for the next step now sometimes I use my Sakura Jelly Roll pen to make a design around the edge. Sometimes I use dots or sometimes I do dotted lines. I think I'm going to show you how I do my dotted lines. Sometimes I also use um, China white watercolor paint, which is opaque, or I could use an acrylic paint and use a very tiny brush, and I can make a, a just a plain edge around the outside. But this one I'm going to show you is my dotted line. So, and you could make any kind of edge you want or you don't have to have any decorative edge if you don't want to. So there's my straight dotted line around the edge and you could also go around the little hole where you punched it out. It finishes the, the tag off a little nicer I think. Okay. 
So now I'm going to show you, um, I said this, the stars. Okay, let's use this one and one of my small ones. And I have my stars from my previous video. And what I would do is I would pick out whatever stars I think would go well on this color. And I really like this pearly finish on, on these stars. And, oops, it seems to be a good strategy to use odd numbers for your decorative bits. And this is a good size for using three. Now what I've done on the back, I have put um, double-sided tape. And this is dimensional tape. So it will make the little stars pop up a little bit, which just is a nice touch, I think. And I've got some other sticky tape here. You could use just flat double-sided tape or you could use um, liquid glue, whatever you think works best for you. So there. And one more. There. So that is that one. And I'm going to put a different color on this one. I think I'll just have one because it's a smaller tag. That would look nice. Or maybe a blue one would look nice. I'm not sure about that one. I'm going to try one of these bronzy ones. I actually like that quite a bit. So I'm going to go with that one. But you could pick out whatever ones please you the most. So that is a pretty easy way to decorate tags. Then there's one more thing that I do sometimes, just to add a little more interest. I have my um, jelly pan again, and I just like to make little snowflake dots or they could be stars in far away in the um, sky they're just not showing up as big as my embellishments because they're in the, di the distance and you can just do that or you could use um, acrylic paint or the china white watercolor paint and just do a, a splatter design. You might like to do that first before you add your stars so you don't get paint all over your stars. Anyway, so you just can keep going with that until you think you have enough. Okay, I'm, I would finish it off more, but I'm just not going to take the time. And at the very end, you would add your ribbons. Just um, make a loop here and pull it through. I like to use two ribbons and sometimes I use wider ones or different textures, um, thinner ones, just whatever appeals to you. But I don't, I don't like to use a lot of different ribbons just because I think it gets too bunched up and I don't think it looks quite as, as pretty. But those are my tags. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you have a comment, please post it below. I really like to find out what you think of my art ideas. And if you are not a subscriber to my channel, I invite you to hit the subscribe button below and the bell beside it and that way you'll be notified about my next video. So I look forward to seeing you again. Thanks a lot. Bye bye.